Nurses who work in the operating room say they are more likely to have lung and respiratory issues because of the smoke from the, um, the work that they do in the OR. New this hour, Channel 2 investigative reporter Justin Gray, live with details on efforts by a group of Georgia nurses, Justin, to get the state legislator to help out. Well, Justin, here at Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center, they have voluntarily gone, gone smoke free in all of their operating rooms. But these nurses say in order to get that happening at hospitals all across the state, they really need a new law. In this operating room, we're containing the surgical smoke inside this plastic box. It builds up in a matter of seconds, but in a real OR situation, with a real patient instead of a stake, it's doctors and nurses who breathe in all that smoke. In 2012, I was diagnosed with adult onset asthma, and there's no asthma in my family. Brenda Ulmer has been working in operating rooms for more than 40 years. A 2019 study found surgical nurses are twice as likely as the rest of us to have respiratory problems. If you work in the operating room eight hours, it's equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes. The surgical smoke also contains dangerous chemicals and particles. The problem with surgical smoke, again, it's not processed tobacco, it is human body parts. But look at the difference in that plastic box now. The smoke immediately sucked up and filtered out of the room. We're there to take care of the patient, but we also need to take care of one another. Two states have passed laws requiring this kind of smoke evacuation technology at every hospital. Now a group of Georgia nurses are pushing for the state legislature here to step in and require operating rooms go smoke free for the health of doctors, nurses, and patients. There are hospitals that will never do it as long as it's, it's optional and not mandatory. Now, this smoke-free technology is relatively only inexpensive, only a couple thousand dollars per operating room. Those nurses hoping to get a bill introduced in this upcoming legislative session. Reporting live in Northeast Atlanta, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News.